good morning all you critical blasters out there. Uh, greetings from St. Louis where the Blues are still trying to win that Stanley Cup. Go Blues, play Gloria. Uh, this is RJ Carter coming to you and today I am stepping out of what is apparently a time capsule. I'm going to take a bunch of money out of my wallet and go buy some classic comic books because I now live in 1976. Yes, this is a Overstreet price guide that we picked up at Half Price Books. And it was not nearly as thick then as it is now. And it's kind of fun looking through this thing. Uh, four color comics actually takes up the biggest chunk of it. We'll take a look at, uh, oh, you always go to the very front because that's where you find action comics. Action Comics number one, $4,200. That's all it took back in that day to get that. Now, of course, I don't have a copy of that, but I do have a copy, and I've shown it online before, of Green Lantern number 40, which is the Golden Age crossover and the first appearance of the origin of the Guardians. There's Green Lantern number 40. I can pick that up for a cool buck. Wow. I, it, that's, that's amazing. Let's see what I can get my first Batgirl for. That was over here in Detective. Dum, 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 dum. See, I'm used to finding pages and pages and pages of some of these titles, and now it's like they're just a paragraph on some of these Well, here's origin and first appearance of Batwoman for three dollars. So, so Batgirl introducing the new Batgirl. There she is, three fifty nine. Alfred brought back to Batman three fifty six. Another a buck. These are these are classic stories. All right. Well, you want to see Amazing Fantasy, right? Sure you do. Here's Avengers. $14 for a number one Avengers. Archie takes up the biggest chunk of the A's. That's funny. Amazing Man Comics. There it is. Amazing Fantasy. Number 15. See, that was an expensive book. You had to shell out 160 bucks to get Amazing Fantasy. I'd say it was worth the investment. This is going to be a fun read. I'm going to enjoy going through this and uh, seeing how the prices have gone up on some of these things. Here's here's the biggest sticker shock. Only $7.50 for this price guide. And it's got this beautiful Will Eisner cover on it because, of course, it was the spirit of 76. And they even stuck with the... Uh, Try putting that on a cover today. That would not, that would not fly. That would uh, go over like a snowball below, as my father used to say. And specially made for current modern day comics, clear plastic bags, $4 for a hundred of them. Or the light, or you can get the lightweight ones, just $2 for a hundred. And that was from, of course, our friend Robert Bell, who's been in the business there for years operating out of a P.O. box in New York. So, anyway, I thought it was fun. Wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, if you like this kind of content, of course, we're looking for subscribers. We always rely on your viewers. If you like it, be, hit that thumbs up button down there to let us know how you feel about it. And use the comments, of course. Uh, we need your feedback if we can provide you better content. If there's something else you'd like to see that we're not doing, please let us know. Thanks for coming by.